Okay, so now we're going to do a quote that I really like, and it's about forgiving. Uh, when we genuinely forgive, we set a prisoner free, and then discover that the prisoner we set free was us. So let's draw that. Okay, we're going to draw two mice. Um, all right, so let's just draw an ear, and like that. And now this time we're going to draw this mouth like he's really mad. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw two lines like that and then put the eyes right there. See how he looks like he's really mean and mad. I'll zoom in on it so you can see that a little better. Okay, so we drew two lines like that and then put two eyes in it. And then the mouth is going to go down like that, like it's mad. And then we can draw the other ear. I made it smaller in the back of his head here. All right, now I'm going to zoom back out. So here we have the mad mouse. He's really annoyed. And we're going to draw his body, and it's kind of, you know, when you want to draw someone that's mad, you might want to go like this with the arms, like, see how they go like that, and all of a sudden, oh my gosh, he looks like he's so mad, right? Ah, he's really mad, and so then we're going to draw a couple of, like, his hands kind of, his knuckles kind of like that, a bunch of little bumps. And then we're going to put his legs, they're going to come down like there's just one, two, put a triangle on the bottom, and a pair of pants. You can always make this into a girl or if you, if you want. Um, if you'd rather have a girl character, um, you can just put a little skirt on her. Um, and so, let's put a t-shirt on your character. And then I'm going to erase the line inside the t-shirt. Right? Kind of goes like that. Maybe I'd give him a scoop neck for his t-shirt. Okay, so let's color in his face. He's steaming mad. Because, I mean, we can't help it. Sometimes things happen and you're... I'm going to outline all that first before I color it in. And then I color it in really softly so I can see through it. I don't push down very hard on my crayon. So I'm going to color his arms. And then I'm going to... Okay. You're going to draw a heart. Hopefully I caught you in time. And then we're going to put a square around it. And then we're going to take a, a red crayon. I picked up a red orange. So after you color in the heart, then we're going to put lines in front of it. Okay, so that'll make it look like the the heart is actually in prison, okay? Because that's kind of what this quote is all about. Okay, so there's our little heart in prison. Color around it. And then just color in the pants. Whatever color you want. Like that. And the shoes. Whatever color you want. And give them a shadow. Um, 
Another shadow you can do is a soft with your pencil out here, and then the closer it gets to the mouse, the darker the shadow gets. It's like my favorite trick that I've ever learned in art. The darkest part of the shadow is right next to the object. So that looks kind of cool. So here we have this mouse that is uh, kind of mad and uh, about about something or at someone and so he could walk around and stay mad all the time or he could just forgive or forget and so we're going to draw the mouse if he just let it all go what would that look like so we're going to draw the top of his head and an ear and you can just go out like that but this time we're going to have him really happy because he decided to forgive two eyes put the other ear somewhere on the other side of his head and then go back now we have a mouse that's happy, and we're going to draw his body, and this time the, let's have the hands like they're going straight up, and maybe this one's going, I'm going to hit the nose, so I'm going to go behind it, and give a thumb and then one, two, three, four fingers, a thumb all by itself, and then one, two, three, four. So he's got his hands out. We'll put his t shirt back on. So we can just kind of do right across there and then draw his t-shirt I'm going to maybe oh, erase some of that and I put his shirt like it's a little freer like he's free now and we'll draw it, and when his legs too, let's just draw it like, um, let's draw the legs like one leg's going this way and the other leg's going that way. Like he's completely free now. He's like so happy. And his heart is going to be the heart that was in jail, like it was a prisoner, is free now. So we're going to draw the heart out there, and we'll color it in. And then we'll put some wings on it, like it's flying away. But let's finish coloring the mouse. So I'm going to put the same color for the shirt. same color for the pants so that you know it's the same person so sometimes you know if someone did something bad to you and kind of hurt your feelings or something maybe the best thing to do is just forget about it you know or I'll put a shadow here soft medium hard next to that foot and the same thing over here soft medium hard and so to forgive is to set a prisoner free 
and then discover that the prisoner you set free was us. So, I'll just color in those little hands. Maybe give it a try some sometime. Just tell yourself that you forgive that person. It's like, okay, move on. Now I'll show you how to make the wings. The wings are going to be like this curve that goes up, down, and up. It's an S curve. Up, down, and up. And then you just put like, a cur they come in like this, and then another one, and another one, back to the center of the heart. I can zoom in on it a little if it helps. So you've got this curve going out, and basically you're just going to go in, and then start out here, and go in and in a couple of times. And then I thought it would look nice if we put sky blue, which is that really light sky blue, to kind of outline your little wings. Makes them look white. Kind of outline them and just do it kind of soft and fuzzy. quote about to forgive, right? Forgiveness, right? So, here we go. When, you got to write small again on this one. This is a, a long quote. When we genuinely, G-E-N-U-I-N-E-L-Y, when we genuinely, Genuinely forgive, that means when we really forgive, comma, we set a prisoner free. We set a prisoner free and then discover... Discover that the prisoner we set free. Okay, so the author of this quote is Lewis B. Sneeds, S-M-E-D-E-S. B. Sneeds. And so, we could just write up here, forgive. So there's uh, something, one, another aspect of uh, a piece is to be able to forgive. 